Tigner lines up left of Fuller. Takes the shotgun snap. Chance with time. Now hit as he throws. Across the middle. Caught. And uh, hang on to it. He did. The ball is caught by Harley Hayes. And they were tugging at it at the 36-yard line. Colby Underwood, the tackle. But it's a first and 10 for the Tigers on a gain of 15. Three receivers bunched to the left. Snap back to Fuller. Pump fake. Going to the end zone. He's got Harley Hazlett, and he makes the catch. Touchdown! Ford Hayes State. 36 yards. Chance Fuller to Harley Hazlett. His sixth touchdown catch in three games. And Ford Hayes State for the fifth consecutive game. Score on their opening possession. They lead it 6 to nothing with 7.20 to go here in the first quarter. High and deep, one at their back. It's a wobbly kick. Beaverly's going to take it on a high bounce at the 32-yard line. Makes a man miss at the 40. He's at midfield, angling to the Tigers' sideline. He's at the 40, still on his feet, 35, and pushed out of bounds. Central Oklahoma is almost near the bottom in kickoff coverage. Their punt coverage isn't much better, and a big-time return there by Lane Beaverly to the Central Oklahoma 36 yard line and that's where they're going to have their best starting field position of the day try to retake the lead in a 7-7 tie now pump fake Hazlett's wide open touchdown Ford Hayes State Harley Hazlett wide open at the goal line and a pump fake to the left a throw back to the right from Fuller and it's 13-7 Tigers with 13-12 to go here in the first half Three receivers near side, high snap, Calhoun grabs it, throws it, and it's going to be intercepted. Jordan Starks in front of the Bronco bench. He jumped around and picked it off, and Ford A. State has the football, and now a late flag comes out after the play. What a pick by Starks. It was a high snap. Calhoun batted it to himself, and then Starks picked it off. If it stands, it's eight interceptions now in three games for the Tigers or second down and 11 now. The Tigers for the Bronco 30 after the interception leading 14-7. There's a pass far side and it's going to be caught. Is it a catch? It is a catch at the two-yard line by Lane Beaverly. Oh, what a catch for Fort A. State. They're going to mark him down at the one again at 29. Oh, he hauled that one in. Darius Washington, Winston, I should say, the tackle. What a catch for Beaverly. It'll be first and goal for the Tigers. They're inside the farm implement and supply red zone. First and goal from the six, slant pattern to Ramsey. Did he haul it in? He did. What a catch. Touchdown, Fort Hay State. Manny Ramsey in front of Daniel Bauman. Hauls it in for a touchdown, and the Tigers lead it 20-7 to with 4.19 to go here in the second. Two for six on fourth down this year. They break out of a huddle, and they're going to go under center. It's going to be a handoff, and Scott is blown up. The Tigers get a fourth down stop. It loses a yard. Tanner Hookman led the charge, but he had help from Dylan Schmidtberger, the former Hayes High Indian. Fort A. State blows it up. A loss of one, and Fort A. State will take over on downs. Fuller takes the snap. Fuller, screen pass to Tigner, just lobbed it over the top. Makes two men miss. Cuts up the middle. He's at the 50. Breaks a tackle up the numbers. 40 to the 30 to the 20. Foot race 15 and down to the 12. First down. Ford Hayes State. A screen pass of 46 yards. Jakari Hunt saves a touchdown. First and goal. Tigers inside the farm implement and supply red zone. Now a minute 10 to go. Fort A. State knocking on the door. They're going to mark it at the 11. There's a pass into the end zone for Manny Ramsey. Touchdown, Fort A. State. He's able to burn Chris Lewis on the near sideline. And the Tigers now lead 27-7 with a minute two to go in the first half. What a pass from Fuller. I mean, he is on point today. And he's going to get a carry again. Weaves his way up the middle. He's got a first down and more. At the 45, he's at midfield. They grab him from the shoulder pads and bring him down at the Central Oklahoma 40-yard line. Touchdown saving tackle by Lewis on a 29-yard run from D.J. Hickman. And that's becoming a big one-two punch for the Tigers. Now an empty backfield for Fuller. Throws across the middle. Got a man open. Diving catch, Beaver.
Haberly. If it was a better throw that Lane catches in stride, he waltzes into the end zone. Instead, a diving catch down to the 13-yard line. 27 yards of the completion. First and 10 Tigers. They're back inside the farm of a minute supply red zone. Ramsey and Hazlett, wide receivers right. Bieberly over here, one-on-one coverage to the left. Tigner, the running back, he'll go in motion. Empty backfield of the shotgun staff to Fuller. Throws downfield. Ramsey wide open to the 30. Inside the numbers to the hash mark at the 25 and down to the 20 yard line. A completion of 20 and a first and 10 for the Tigers. Jeremiah Hill, the tackle. It's a completion of 19 to the 20 yard line and a first down. Snap back to Fuller with time. Throws, caught, touchdown, Jacoby Williams. The tight end makes the catch at the goal line, slams into a Bronco, and they signal touchdown for Jacoby. His second this year, the fourth for the former Fort Hay State quarterback, and it's 34-7 with 7.56 to go in the game. That's going to be the final play. The Broncos don't stop the clock. The Tigers do not need to run another play, and Fort Hay State Wins another one in Edmond. Their fourth straight win here at Wantland Stadium. A dominant second quarter propels them to a 35 to 7 win. And for the first time all year, the Tigers are above 500. 35 to 7, your final.